Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Colleagues in government, I want to address you over this issue. Please get politics out of fiscal. Take politics away from fiscal. You are going to divide this country very badly and you are going to destroy the peace that this country has enjoyed over the last uh, over 50 years that we have been independent. Where I come from, they say, Akasosaka vie kamunda. Akasosaka vie kamunda. Meaning, therefore, that food is extremely important in one's life. Meaning, therefore, that if one doesn't eat, or if the nation doesn't have food, then we have a problem. Then we'll have a very big problem. Two days ago, or three days ago, I did make a by-the-way statement concerning and advising the minister of the Copper Belt to immediately lift the illegal, and I'm calling it illegal because the minister of the Copper Belt has nothing to do with FISIP. FISIP is supposed to be administered by the camp extension officers and the district agriculture officer, the, DA, the DACO, through cooperatives. And I don't think the provincial minister is defined anywhere to have the powers to say I've suspended the distribution of FISIP. I did advise him, my dear brother and friend, Honorable Mark Tambo, with due respect. Two days later, he called for a meeting where he asked the provincial agriculture officer to explain and come up with ways of how they are going to resolve the issues surrounding this year's uh, distribution of uh, FISIP or fertilizer and seed as it were. I was extremely disappointed. And not only me, as I speak to you, I have received so many old people, so many farmers from within Luansha coming to my house, literally crying. And listen to this. Farmers literally crying. At Wakambuli, to a papa, tatula ndile niko, to a lafwa, watuipaya. The minister and the DAC were announced that this year's distribution will, will be as follows. 80% of the fertilizer will be given to new cooperatives and that 20% will be given to old cooperatives. My dear brothers and sisters in government, don't go this route. Please stop this proposal. You are sending the poor farmers into outcheck poverty and you are killing their families. You are killing the economy of certain towns and uh, urban, uh, I mean, peri urban and uh, you know, rural areas. Look, FISIP was introduced to help the viable but vulnerable farmers. It was not introduced to help your political cadres or to help people that helped you from government. 
I have said and I want to say it again that FISIP was introduced by late President Patrick Mwanawasa, State Council, may he so rest in peace. And throughout the MMD regime or the MMD era, they started with about 200,000 farmers. And by the time MMD was leaving office, they were giving 500,000 small-scale farmers. When PF came into office, when PF came into office, the 500 farmers that MMD had left on FISIP were not removed from the FISIP beneficiaries. They were never even tempered with what PF did, dear colleagues, was that they wanted to increase the numbers of the beneficiaries because the program had proved that it was a worthwhile program that had even resulted into a bumper harvest under MMD. And what PF did was to build on these numbers so that we could record more bumper harvest. And the true to this, PF throughout their being in power recorded bumper harvest year by year, increasing on the numbers. Do you know why? They did not temper with the 500,000 beneficiaries that MMD left on the list. Because as far as PF was concerned, these who were benefiting from FISIP were not MMD cadres, but were Zambians, viable but vulnerable farmers. They increased the number to 1 million beneficiaries. By the time PF was leaving office, we had 1 million beneficiaries. And these 1 million beneficiaries were not drawn from one political party. The cooperatives were being formed through the DACOs, through the camp extension officers, and they were being identified and, and allowed to apply to increase the number from 500 to 1 million. But today, UPND, today, UPND, you want to politicize FISIP. You want to politicize FISIP. Yes, we've heard of so many of your cadres in the blogs, on social media, complaining that you have not paid back to your cadres in structures who had held the party for a long time and who helped you form government. Don't follow that trajectory. Don't fall prey to that kind of nonsense. And I'll call it nonsense. Because the people, the 2.8 million people who voted for you were not members of UPND. Among the people that voted you were ordinary citizens who don't even involve themselves in partisan politics but they just want the best for this country among those are the beneficiaries of FISIP but today by UPND you want to take FISIP to give to your cadres using the new cooperatives that you formed from the time you came into office you've been telling your cadres no form cooperatives every time they complain form cooperative will help you through cooperatives then you think Zambians are stupid. That you go and say, FISIP, 80% will be given to new cooperatives. Who are these new cooperatives? Your own cooperatives. We have already been told that what is happening in the townships and in the compounds is that every cooperative that you feel their PF cadres or their pe people who are supporting PF they are telling them, we are not going to deal with you in as far as FISIP is concerned. You are forming cooperatives comprising of, you are digging your own grave. Because the same way they were being handled under MMD, the way they were, they were being handled under PF. Don't politicize FISIP. Look, 
these people you want to remove I've got children in school I've got families to feed they also have to survive for instance in one constituents my former constituents the mines used to employ about 25,000 miners today the mine employs less than 1,500 miners all those who are miners have shifted to small-scale agriculture and they are the main beneficiaries of the FISIP in one constituents. And I think they are able to sustain their lives. But you want to remove those people and put your own people. Remove 80% of the old cooperatives and bring in 20% and, 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 and bring in 80% of new cooperatives, Mulei Payavantu. Mulei Payavantu, Mulei Payama farmers. Na mupapa, ta unfile niku abantu luse. Have mercy on the people. Ababantu wala ndaba usu. The only thing vakuata, vaishwabe ne kulima. Mwabapela kufe traiza ya vasabzidaizit. Balima, vakuate fiakudia. The excess they sell to buy children's shoes and send them to school. You 80% of the people who are 80%. If you want to bring in new cooperatives, please just increase the number and bring in those new cooperatives. We have new cooperatives. You cannot come and say this thing at the 11th hour. In Oishtem Flana Isa, Abantu Valerima, they are preparing because they know that they will pay 400 kwacha and they will have six bags of fertilizer. And then from nowhere, suddenly, boom, you tell them, no, you, we are not going to give you this year. We are giving new ones. They don't have the time to organize the money to buy the fertilizer at 1,100 per bag. One would need if they were to use the six bags they were given, 6,000, 600. Where do you expect the poor people to get 6,000? But in the market, they prepared their fields. And then you want to tell them in November that we are not going to give you fertilizer. We are giving new people. And how do you know that the new 80%, uh, 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 you know, uh, Cooperatives you are given are actually even farmers. If you are not careful, you are going to reduce on the level of production. You are going to, this is going to affect the bumper harvest that we have always, because some of these people don't even have farms at the moment. They are going to sell this fertilizer at exorbitant price and there will be no production. I have said it. You, PF, never removed the list that uh, MMD left. Why are you removing the old beneficiaries and wanting to bring? It is all politics. And my advice to you, honest advice, in earnest, without being malicious, I am appealing to you, but President Hagainde Ichilema, my dear brother Mutolo, Minister of Agriculture, stop it. Stop it, Mwana. Stop it. I hold you in high esteem, Mwana. But if it's not right, it's not correct. 